Okay guys, we are here in Quiapo. Um, very popular market. Everything's cheap. And guys, something is breaking my heart right now. And it's this. Malaya, remember we bought her here, but these ones are much older. See, that's a crested mina. For those of you who weren't with us through season one, that was the bird that I had last year. Oh, look at these cute little birds. What are these? I've never seen these little birds. You got budgery guards right here. Awesome. Long day of filming, and it's time to see the bird. Hey, yes, look at her. Hey there, how was your morning and afternoon with Ate Elsie? Yeah, hi. Oh, wow. You love your new box, don't you? I feel like she's grown in just the day. <laughs> you look different. You look so parrotish. Yes, can I see your wings? Can I see your wings? Wow, wow, nice wings. Mm-hmm. Good girl. Yeah. OMG, she's eating watermelon. Does she like it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. Good girl. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Eat from the hand. Yes. Good girl. Still learning to use her beak. Good girl. Not, she'll learn to like chew. But like, let her pick it up on her own yeah. time. Wow. I just noticed her chest. <gasps> it's like adult feathers. I swear, like just this day while we've been gone. She like grew, like noticeably, since last night. I swear, she looks different from like last night. You're growing way too fast, seriously. Go ahead, eat from the bowl. Be discreet. Okay, fine, discreet. I'm stepping back. Nobody's watching you. Oh, she's looking at an ant. <laughs> Go get it, juicy watermelon. Yes. See, she's reluctant. I remember when Malaya was like this, at that really contemplative stage, like, I know I want to pick it up. I don't know how to start. I don't know if that's going to be weird, but I want to. I bet that's what she's thinking. You can do it. Come on. Wow. I think she's even realizing that she can use her feet to pick things up. That's a great sign. She's getting much more dexterous with her claws. Speaking of which, OMG, look, she's starting to use her claws to climb, which is amazing. Go. Oh my gosh. Oh, but she never picked anything up. Go, 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 go. She's like grabbing at air right now. Oh, yes. Oh, nobody's watching yet. Don't worry. Just casually here, not watching you. <laughs> yes, go. Reach in and pull it out. Oh, it's okay. You'll get the hang of it soon. It must be so interesting being a bird. Like having to learn to use your claws, having to learn your to use your beak, right? And then eventually having to learn to like fly. That's a big deal. Yes, oh wow, she's climbing. Ah, uh, she knows she needs to get up. She has to figure out how to use her claws. Oh, come on, you can do it. Oh, she's gonna use her beak to help her up. As soon as she learns to climb using her two claws and her beak, she'll be set. She'll be climbing this cage in no time. Yep, go, go, go. All it takes is a second leg. You can do it. Go poo, go poo, go poo. See, she doesn't know exactly what the command go poo means, but eventually if I say it and she poos by accident, like you, I mean she poos just naturally, she'll eventually associate the word go poo with pooing. Go poo. Especially if like once she does poo, I lavish her with like praise and I click the clicker trainer. Go poo. She should be pooing soon. And with consistency, eventually, it might even get to the point where she will tell me she has to poo. And she might say, go poo. And then at which point I have to move her to either back to her cage to poo or on a perch with a tray at the bottom where she can poo. And this is how you potty train parrots. I guess that's the basis of any training for parrots or any animal really. You kind of catch them by accident in the act and give them a certain cue when they do it and then reward them when they do it. Go poo and then I'll take you out. She really wants me to take her out but I won't do it until she poos and I say the command. Go poo. You're getting really good with your feet. Yes, flap those flappers. Let's see if she'll be able to come up with those feet. Come on, go shift that center of gravity and just climb. Wow. 
She's grabbing on with her beak and like flapping her wings. Yes, what beautiful wings you have. Amazing. Yes, let's see those wings. Wow. Awesome. So beautiful. Mm-hmm. And look at the progress of those tail feathers. Seriously. And funny, she still has that one sole red tail feather there. Yes, fly, fly. Exercise those flappers. Mm-hmm. Good girl. You still look like a chicken underneath it all though. <laughs> Sorry, were you offended by that? You don't look like a chicken, you look like a penguin. <laughs> huh? What are you saying? Oh, oh, let's see you climb. <gasps> oh my gosh, my boy's gone. I think we're gonna watch her climb. Oh my gosh, she climbed the stick. Oh my gosh, she climbed the box. Go, go, you can do it. Yes, climb. <gasps> so that's how she did it. She did it just as we planned, right? Awesome. Come on, you can do it. Climb the box. First one foot, then the other. Yes, now jump. Come on. This is so critical, because if she can learn to coordinate both feet and a beak to climb things, in no time she'll be up here climbing everything and exploring, and that'll make things a lot easier. We can sort of like set up toys in certain ways that is more enriching for her. We can hide certain treats in different places, right? It'll be a much more enriching environment for her at this cage uh, once she learns how to climb properly. Lunchtime. I'm gonna fill your belly because we have something very important to do in just a little bit. Mm hmm. Yes, very important. And it will be very beneficial to you to learn and explore. Mm hmm. Boy Squad, after she eats, I'm going to take her outside. Like literally outside, not in a van, but outside in the neighborhood where there's a lot of new sounds smells, sights. Oops, I do think she's ready. She needs to uh, be exposed to as many things as possible while she's young. But I, at the same time, I don't want to overwhelm her. Like if she's too early to do something, not going to force. For example, one such thing is she doesn't want to go near the window. She's totally afraid of like, I don't know if it's the height or like the brightness, but when I take her out, it will be inside this, so she'll feel secure. Lots of blankets and stuff. You got baby food on your beak. On your beautiful black beak. Mm-hmm. Here, more. I think that, like, semi-fall freaked her out. You didn't eat enough. You only had one and a half. You're supposed to have three. Uh-oh. You know what this means? Oh, plus you had a banana. So that's maybe why. A little bit of banana. But I think she's reaching that age where you're gonna only eat formula twice a day. Which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. No more three times a day. Two times a day. And snack. Mm-hmm. You can snack all you want. And then soon, you won't be needing this. Mm-hmm. Right? You are growing so fast. I can't take it. I miss my baby. I miss my baby Perry. Seriously, you look so grown now. And this little fluff and this fluff will go away soon. You're almost gonna have your full plumage. Mm-hmm. Such a pretty, pretty parrot. Beautiful bird. Mm-hmm. Can I scratch your neck? We're going somewhere fun. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Super fun. No, 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 no. Look at how inquisitive she is. She's like, where are we going? She's not retreating into the bag. She's like right at the edge, right at the forefront of discovery. Mm -hmm. I like that attitude. All right, so this is the noisiest part. She's doing okay. She's not like crazy retreating into the bag. She's all right. She wants to see. That's a good sign. That a girl. Okay, now I'm going into the more quieter neighborhood. I wanted to go at lunch because traffic isn't as bad. Ooh, but it's mighty windy today. Yes. 
yes learn learn bird learn soak up all of the infos yes see so we are here in the neighborhood i hope to take you around here often i'm going to stick to this route it's okay it's okay it's all right she's afraid of cars it's okay no worries it's natural for her to be alarmed by new sounds but as long as she knows i'm here and i'm encouraging her it will register as an okay experience yes i'm here don't worry here's a big truck but look i'm protecting you see they're delivering water we need water Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Don't worry. You'll get so used to traffic soon. It is nice and hot here in Manila. Thankfully, no rain right now. It's about 30 something degrees Celsius. Nice and warm, posty. And I love this neighborhood. Oh, I haven't walked through here for a while. <gasps> Look at that. Giant mango trees. Oh, look at this building. Uh, <gasps> this is new. This was being constructed. Last went through here. Oh my, look at those trees up there. Who's living here? I want to live here. Wow. Wow, what a nice house. Look at those trees up there. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's my, that's my dream. All right, so coming up, we have some dogs. This will be important for the parrot because I would like this parrot not to freak out when she sees other larger animals. So let's see how she reacts. Hi doggies. See, those are dogs. They're okay. Success. Good job. Very good. Good girl. Yes, you're doing just fine on your first stroll through the neighborhood. Now eventually, to train her to be free flight, we kind of need an open space. I don't know if I'm going to train her to be free flight here in this neighborhood just because there's so many places she could like get injured and hide. It needs to be sort of an open space, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, the other concern I have here about putting her down anywhere is that she'll pick up like bird ticks and I don't want that. Here in the Philippines, all these tropical ticks and fleas are they're kind of everywhere i learned this because for a little while i had a, a puppy long story <laughs> but walking this puppy around every single day there would be a new they call it garapata i had never seen it before um growing up in canada but here in the Philippines, they have big dog ticks. Massive. They look like brown rosettes. You know, those are glossettes. Oh, wow. She's not panicking. That was a garbage truck. Oh, and that was a pothole. I almost fell in. They look like giant glossettes. That chocolate candy. They're basically like one centimeter fat like tick that attached to your dog and they're everywhere here on the street because of all of the street dogs that walk around right and it's almost like if you have a dog here in the philippines you have to use this like formula that you put on their neck every month or so to keep away these ticks and fleas um and so i'm paranoid about putting this bird down because i don't want her to get like all of these random like ticks and like lice bird lice got to be real careful the tropics are a different thing guys seriously the thing i do love about the tropics though is you can keep exotic birds like this reptile tropical fish and you don't have to worry about like a heater and stuff right random cars going by and she's fine you're doing such a good job yes another random pothole these cars are a breeze for her now very good very good cars are not necessarily bad just if you're ever flying don't fly in front of one you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying now i love this bag because look it's very netted that's why i got it so she can have full view because her naturally inquisitive mind probably wants to see everything but she's also deep in like cloths and like paper towels so if ever she needs to hide she can definitely do so and she's up against my body too so she can hear me coaching her she sees me nearby as her parent she can feel secure and know that everything we're experiencing now is okay i am not freaking out right it's like one of those things like you know when you're on an airplane and there there's turbulence for me anyway i look to the staff to see if they're panicking or whatnot hi Hello. Hello, Paul. Hi. We got garbage trucks here. You okay? This is a garbage truck. Yeah, see? Look at it. See? It's not scary. It's not scary. See it? 
see it's making all sorts of noises. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Good girl, you're so brave. Good girl. As I was saying, so when you're on a flight and there's like crazy turbulence, me, I look to the flight staff. I wanna see if they're panicking. I wanna see them calm, collected, as if they're not hiding some like message they got from the captain saying they're going down. They want to just chill. You know what I'm saying? Well, I want chill. So, same with her. If she knows that I'm chill, yeah, when this truck is passing by, she'll be chill. See? Calm, cool, collected. That's it. Heading home now. And that's it. Not so bad, was it? Yes. She's like, I much prefer the couch. Good morning, Mabuhay squad. Yes. We are here in Paranaque, Metro Manila. Look at how beautiful of a day it is. Amazing. Look at this church. It looks so like old amazing isn't that beautiful all right so the reason we are here in paranaque is because 